Good morning, everyone. It's me, Tonic TZW. I'm here on the sofa. Um, just wanted to do a voiceover of a replay um, of a game that myself and my Antipodean friend, Jazz the Merciful, had the other day because it was, frankly, this was clutch. This was epic. It was funny and... Um, if it had been recording the game audio, I would have just put that on because we were absolutely wetting ourselves laughing at this one. Now, it is Sunday morning and uh, I'm enjoying my cup of coffee and it takes a lot of time to put all these videos and things together. So I just thought while it's a quiet Sunday morning, I'd get online and uh, I'd uh, review my videos of the week. And... Um, we, we throw something out there, so while you are having your morning coffee this Sunday, you can sit down and watch a replay and see my my beautiful, oh, this is my face, um, as Aussie guy would say. Um, I am out in the Tier 5 Premium Battleship, the California, and Jazz is in, I think it's the Tier 5 British Aircraft Carrier, the Furious, and, um, well neither of us were expecting much from this game because normally with a division having three is better than two but blue team i think need to be grateful that the two of us were on fine form in this game um it's it, it was one of those games where you're almost certain that you're going to lose and uh, we'll see how that develops as we play now, Jazz always keeps his carrier moving, and he's a very good carrier player, and uh, that certainly comes through in this match. So he's spotting, we're trying to keep our guns and our eyes on whilst trying to, you know, not necessarily be too much on a broadside, but to have our guns where we expect the enemy ships to appear. Now, I actually can't see, because um, it splits the screen when I do it like this, I can't see um, all of the uh, ship names. But I know that's a London out there. I think there's a Dallas pushing. Um, what is that? I can't remember. I can't see. I'll probably have to sit close to the TV. Good eyes now. There we go. I can see it now. Just needed to squint my eyes a little bit. Because uh, even though I do wear glasses, I'm still blind as a friggin' bat. But yeah, we've got the guys now with Dallas out there. We've got the London in the centre. Um, and we are just sort of trying to stay angled um, to as much as we can whilst getting fire onto as much as we can. Now our own cruisers are doing a good job of getting that guy now on fire. And I think Jazz has uh, got his planes across there as well. Now we only have one destroyer on each team. And um, ours is a Fushun, so a deep water torps only. And red team have got a strong left flank on the minimap. And uh, that, that will be their, their push point. But at the moment, it's the right side of the minimap that are doing the hard push. And we're already um, two ships down. And I think that's, that's happened out on that left flank. And, you know, you just start thinking, you know, we're, we're literally minutes in and we've lost two ships. Are things going to start crumbling? Um, we're keeping our eyes out for that guys now because we know that Helena is going to be in trouble when he comes around that corner. So we peel the shots off. Now, uh, somebody did say to me on live stream, do I find that I get better accuracy peeling the shots like that? I mean, that's a pretty decent hit there. Um, my reasoning behind it is if you fire a full salvo, you basically put in all your shells into one spot and you're, you're relying on your dispersion and grouping to land those um, shots where they are. Whereas if, you're, if you fire individual turrets, um, if a ship starts a turn, you can still adjust and put your other turrets into slightly different spots now that london starts backing out after the uh, guys now disappears to i think i think jazz picked him up um so yeah he was knackered we know there's still a dallas out on that side of the map um i need to flip my mic so i can have a sip of my coffee but there we go there's the dallas he's out there we've just i think hit the london in the center excuse me while i take a sip doing all this talking you know it leads to a dry mouth and especially when i was drinking heineken and uh, desirano last night 
But Mr. Dallas decides that um, he's done his push out there. He's lost the guys now for support and he's in a pretty bad spot. And I just pop two turrets across there, hoping to pick up a little bit of damage or if not, just to uh, keep him going away from us with the big guns. But we actually drop it straight through a Citadel and pick up our first game of, uh, sorry, our first kill of the match. And you'll notice that I still have two turrets available, and in the time it's going to take me to turn, actually my front two turrets are going to load as well. Now I, I get a bit squiffy on this shot, because it looks like he's going out, and I think I aim just a little bit too high on him, because I think this could have been a dev strike. But we bash him through the Citadel as well, so he's going to think twice about sailing out broadside from that gap anytime soon. Now, as I said earlier, the um, the left side of the minimap is where Red's hard pushes, and uh, Jazz picks himself up another kill. And we've got what is it? We've got the Fuso, the California. Um, there's also a is it an algery i think is out there as well and we'll um, we'll see him in a little while now the funny thing is is that um, that california has already picked himself up a diehard medal and you know not that diehards are quite hard to come by um so seeing somebody get a diehard in a game is um you know if it's on your team somebody taking the red team out then it's fun but watching red team take blue team um isn't that much fun because it means you're down a ship now i'm looking at this island and i'm expecting these ships to split two ways because that's what i would do if i was in division um even if i was playing with somebody else or not playing with somebody else if i saw a ship go left i would potentially split right because then no matter what the ship on the other end like me is doing you're going to have somebody able to come around one way or the other and pick that ship up. Sorry, just muted the mic there while I, I had an early Sunday morning cough. So we've lost sight of things and the uh, looks like the enemy Serov is doing his business. And uh, we, we're actually doing quite you know decently here. We're on 74,000 damage. But there is myself, there is Jazz, and um, I think... Is it the Helena left? I'm not quite certain. But we lost our destroyer because he pushed their cap very, very early without any support. And um, he got himself dealt with. Um, so tip to destroyer players, if you are going to push a cap, make sure you've got somebody coming with you that can give you support. So I'm looking around at who's got what health left on them. Um, as I said, that Algeri is going to push the right-hand corner, and I know I've got the California and the Fuso pushing in on the other side. So I've got this island off to my my right side, which I'm looking at using to screen me from the two battleships, hopefully. And uh, I pop some shots out at that Algeri, but he's been smart and hit the brakes before he gets to the corner. I do land one shot. That um, California has actually got quite a good shot on me. But somehow, I I don't know how his dispersion was so awful at that range, but it was. And that gives us time to get a second shot on this Aldri, who dips behind the hill. But my shots aren't blocked, and they very nicely float across the top. And go straight through his citadel and remove him from the map so now we know we've still got a destroyer we've got a carrier we've got a california and we've got the fuso and the fuso you know he's got a decent health pool left on him but jazz is going to sacrifice a lot of his planes at this california and um, we are going to do whatever damage we can we're still down to three ships the helena is going all out on the california as well i think to get some fires on them and uh but it's not going to end well because he, he's got two battleships facing him down i can't get a shot on yet and i'm trying to stay as angled as i can for when i come clear of this island coffee again now 
It looks like I changed my mind here. I can't remember exactly why, but I figure I'm going to turn in close to this island and actually go towards them. Fuzo gets a bloody good volley off at me and takes about three bars of health off. And I decide if I'm going to be getting in the fight anytime soon, I need to repair now and then hopefully my repair party will be available again um, once I get into this scrap. Now the California takes a pretty good hit and I do believe he has got a fire on him. We've broken the 100k damage barrier and now we're looking around to see what we can do here. Now this is probably the worst shot I've played in a few days but um, I thought I could get my front turrets clear of that and uh, finish that California off but I couldn't and the Fuso pops in another shot at me. Now I can see the California has got tick damage on him so I've actually slowed down because I don't want to go past this corner and give him a free shot. I want that tick damage to finish him off. Fuso is bowing to us and um, California disappears which leaves a destroyer, the Fuso and the enemy aircraft carrier. Now I do take a little bit of attention here from the enemy aircraft carrier um, but in the California with an AA build on um, I'm quite happy that uh, I can take down a lot of us planes. Now Fuso loses a gun there which he's not going to be happy about and I think he damcons it straight away. So I put two more turrets on and he loses a turret and this is going to be the start of the slowest boat chase in history and for some reason I keep getting into these things. I had one not too long ago. This one's going to end a little bit differently. So we've already knocked out one turret completely. We go for another two turrets and uh, we do a bit of damage but nothing severe. And I'm turning out because I know this guy is going full speed because he either wants to shoot the heck out of me but he can't do that now because I've just wrecked another turret permanently. We hear the torpedo beeps, they run out and that tells me that I'm, I'm safe from the destroyer because his torps have run out which means he's far enough away from me. So I just need to open up a little bit of distance in case he's uh, pushing in like close to me for another kill. Now this Fuso is absolutely knackered and uh, I'm just going to keep popping through those turrets and I damage another turret. Now I don't know how I've done that. Did it go through his superstructure and through into his back turrets? But he's literally got nothing to shoot at me with apart from secondaries on the front half of his ship. And uh, I'm thinking my, my California is too slow. He's going to ram me. And as I start a turn to get my front turrets on to have another pop at them, I see those torpedoes get dropped. So I have to start turning back out of it. And uh, I'm thinking I'm clear, I'm clear, I'm clear. But now California has big hips and I take a little bit of a tap. But the torpedo damage reduction kind of saves me there and he doesn't get a flood. But this guy is getting closer. And just look, look at the state of those front turrets. He is knackered. And um, it's at this point I decided that this big girl is tired of being chased around by this big bully. And um, we pop one more shot through and somehow all of those miss and land about two gears behind them. But we hit our repair party and we hit full reverse. And he falls for it and turns into us and gives us a little tap on the butt. And... Um, we are the second California in this game to claim a diehard. There are seconds left on the clock. We're still down on points. The destroyer's got himself spotted. And Jazz drops in with five seconds to spare. And um, kills the destroyer and gives us the win. Red team had that in the bag. And yet we clinched it. 138,000 damage. Diehard. High caliber. Wait till you see the kills list because Jazz pulled an epic one on this. We pulled seven kills between us. Don't know what the rest of the team were doing, but um, all I know is that we were fighting as hard as we could. So thanks for watching. 
if you've enjoyed this video see my face in the top corner like a little angel um please do go hit like click the subscribe button and i'll try to keep more videos coming um on the channel to keep you guys entertained so thank you and see you later